can't. Hey there, I am divorce coach Tara Eisenhard, and today I want to talk about conflict. So I wanted to show you something that um, I do a lot when I'm meeting with people in a conflict coaching setting, and that is to give you kind of a visual representation of conflict, sort of how it happens, how it starts, um, how it sort of tends to, to spiral, and then I want to talk a little bit about what can be done to stop that process. And um, so I want to start with um, my Sharpie here. So usually conflict starts between two people who, um, who know each other. Oftentimes conflict happens between people who at one point had a very good relationship. And of course we know that that is the case in divorces and breakups, right? Um, but a lot of times people are just friends. We have conflicts with our friends and so people are friends or their neighbors and there was a good relationship and then something happened. So typically we start with one person. So let's say that we're going to start with this one person named Joe. Okay. So Joe does something and so he has this action and that action is received by another person. And let's call that other person Carol. Okay, and this is as close as I'm going to get to talking about Tiger King. I'm just going to use Joe and Carol here. So Joe has this action and it's received by Carol. Now Carol receives Joe's action, whatever it was that he did. Maybe he said something, maybe he did something, but Carol responds to that in a very negative way. She receives it in a negative way. And so what Carol's going to do is she's going to react to Joe. And she's going to send some kind of communication or something back to Joe. So we've got Joe to Carol, back to Joe again. And for Joe, a lot of times the first person in this conflict scenario doesn't really understand what they did. A lot of times it's something that is was not supposed to be an attack. It, there was no malintent there. Um, and if the person, the initial person who receives, if Carol doesn't tell Joe what it is that she's upset about, she's just going to react and she's going to say something to him. She's going to do something to him and Joe's going to react to her, right? So Joe is going to react again. Joe's going to send something back to Carol. Okay. So you can see how this is going to start to, we're starting to get a circle here. And a lot of times what happens then is, so right now it's just between Joe and Carol. But if Carol takes this outside and she kind of, you know, she does something to Joe, but she also involves somebody else. So let's call, um, let's call this other person. I don't know, <laughs> George. <laughs> I'm trying to remember Carol's husband's name. Uh, so Carol, Carol, you know, she goes and she tells George what's going on, and then George and Carol are both gonna gang up on Joe. So Joe's gonna receive this. He's gonna see that now Carol has George on her side. And so Joe is gonna do the same thing, right? So Joe's gonna go outside that initial circle. He's gonna tell somebody else. He's gonna tell Jeff. Is that that other guy's name? Um, so he's gonna tell Jeff. And now Jeff and Joe are both gonna gang up on Carol. So now we've got two against two but it's going to start to grow, right? Because Carol's going to get this and she's going to see, well, now it's not just between her and Joe, it's between her and Joe and, you know, and Jeff. And so she's going to go and she's going to recruit more people too. So maybe, maybe Carol does one of her, um, you know, maybe she does a Facebook live. I said, I wasn't going to keep talking about Tiger King. Um, but, you know, she tells other people what's going on. Maybe Carol goes to the media and, uh, and then, right? So then it's Carol and the media against Joe. And 
then Joe is going to go put out a, you know, maybe he's going to do the same kind of thing. He's going to get his own media. He's going to, you know, send out a big email blast or something. He's going to get more people on his side. And that it, all those people are going to join in and they're going to all go after Carol. So you see what's happening here is that we're getting this big spiral. Okay. So the conflict starts to look like this, where there's more and more people who are being pulled in. And what is happening here is it's getting bigger and it's gaining a lot of history. It's gaining a lot more participation and it's typically escalating more and more. And so this is what happens in, you know, pretty much every kind of conflict that you can think of, whether it's a conflict between um, romantic partners or it's a partner uh, conflict between friends or neighbors, or if it's a conflict just, um, you know, even, even at the, the national level of conflict between nations or, you know, even if it's just brothers and sisters, whatever it is. So it starts to look like this. It starts to spiral. It starts to get a little bit crazy. It becomes really big. It becomes very involved, kind of looks like a hurricane, right? Um, and it can be, it can have that kind of force. Um, you know, conflict can become something that is incredibly intense and incredibly dangerous. You want to remember that. Um, and so we've seen how it starts. We've seen how it starts to spread and what how do you how do you stop this so obviously at any point here in this um you know in this picture joe or carol or george or jeff all of these people had a chance to say wait we're not gonna attack the next one we're, we're not gonna keep this spiral going and so that's what's important to remember is that it's a matter of having that mindset to say, okay, look, we're in a cycle and I'm going to stop it. So whether that means that at some point in this cycle, one person circles back to the other one and says, hey, um, I'm not gonna attack you. I'm, I wanna have a conversation. So that could you know, start if we go back to the beginning where we had, you know, Joe and then Carol receive Joe's whatever, and then she attacked Joe. If at this point, if Joe, he has a choice to make, right? So he can attack Carol again, or what he can do is instead of going forward, he can go back. And he can say, hey, Carol, I want to back up and I want to talk about what happened and I want to hold some space. I want to listen to you. I want to try to work through this and see what we can do to resolve this problem. So that can happen at any point in the conflict. It can happen really early on before it starts to, to cycle or it can happen a little bit later. Uh, but at any point. Anybody has the opportunity to say, no, you know what? I'm not going to attack forward. I'm going to circle back and see if we can change the outcome of this. So that's one option. The other one is just to stop playing, right? So if in this case, uh, you know, Joe does something, Carol gets upset, she attacks Joe, Joe can attack Carol. He can circle back and he can try to talk to Carol or Joe can say, you know what? I'm just done with Carol. I'm just done having a relationship with her. I'm done trying to fight with her. That can happen too, uh, to just completely remove oneself from the relationship and to go, you know, no contact. Uh, we talk about that sometimes if, uh, if it's a, an ex situation, people who are, you know, dealing with like a narcissistic ex partner, uh, something that's a very contentious situation just to absolutely go no contact not going to participate in any of that conflict that's an option too um so that's pretty much it i wanted to show this visual representation of what this conflict you know kind of looks like uh sometimes people are more visual learners and i know that this makes sense to all of us because we live it all the time but sometimes it, like I said, just makes a little bit more sense to kind of show it 
and how it happens, how it spirals, how it is definitely that spiral and how more people get brought into it. You know, if you think about the divorce situation, right, you've got two people who are separating and then, you know, they collect their friends, right? I get these friends and you get those friends and then they, they recruit in their attorney and that's exactly what happens. Then you've got this spiral of conflict and you got, you know, I've got my side, my ex has his side, that kind of thing. So um, two main options there as far as stopping that cycle to either circle back or to um, to just kind of cut it off and say, yeah, I'm not going to play this game anymore. And so, yeah, so that's it. Um, I will, I think my next video, I'm going to talk about the styles of conflict, how people, how people deal with conflict and, and looking at it. Um, a little bit more deeply there. Um, but I wanted to throw this out there for you today. Any questions or anything, let me know. Also, don't forget, I am offering the mediation services online video conference. So if you are having conflict with somebody in your life and you would like a little bit of help and structure in that process of circling back and talking about things so that it doesn't continue to spiral, you want to break that cycle, let me know. We can talk about a time um, and a price that's going to be most appropriate. Um, so that's it. Um, stay healthy, stay safe, everybody. Remember your social distancing. Um, namaste and have a great day. Thanks so much.